Hey everyone and welcome once again to Lockdown Cooking at Home with myself Red Redfern and my lovely wife behind the camera Jane. Today is Friday, it's Good Friday so apparently it's uh, when everything's meant to go good in the world and everything but here we are on week four of lockdown here in Spain. I don't know about you guys uh, wherever you are in the world uh, but this is starting to get very very monotonous and there is even talk over here in Spain about them extending it to the 11th of May. I have no idea what we're going to do. I might even run out of menus. You guys will have to send me some more bits and pieces in. Anyway, I'm just going to uh, get going and start prepping up here. Jane's going to run through a few hellos and then we'll get started. Hi everyone, hello. Um, happy Easter. Uh, Kevin Howard, hi Kevin. And Jamie Cheeks Myers is watching. Jamie, have you got your menus ready for tomorrow? Your video, you all ready to go, love? Um, do you know we've got nearly 1,500 members? Um, I think we're a couple short. We were trying to get there for today, but it's not the end of the world. Um, but we're just a few short, but it's not bad. We've only been going less than two weeks, I think. Yes, so, less than two weeks. So, as you can see, I'm looking at Red, and he doesn't look very organised, really, does no, he? No, I am, I think. <laughs> I think I'm organised. I have no idea. We'll we've wait been and out, see. We've been outside gardening today. It's yeah, a it's gorgeous day. Yeah, it's been a beautiful day. day. Beautiful day down here in Spain today. The first we've had, really, that uh, it shows its face to becoming spring and summer. Uh, we've had actually three weeks of pretty horrible weather, but uh, we're here now. Anyway, I'm going to crack open the wine. We're still on the house today until I get to the supermarket uh, on Monday. So this is the last bottle of my house, actually. Uh, I'm just going to open this quickly, and then we'll run through the ingredients uh, for uh, what we're doing today. Thanks very much, all you people, for sending in your uh, dishes that you've done. It really is good. This is what this group is all about. It is about sharing your ideas, giving yourself something to do, and hopefully uh, breaking up the mon monotony of this lockdown, and giving you guys some tips and ideas of uh, menus for yourself and your family. So uh, let's just have a quick slug of this. Bob's watching. Hi, Bob. Bob, it's Penascal night for me tonight, and you know what that means, don't you? So I try and save myself, so Penascal night for me, and yes, I'll probably do the whole bottle. <laughs> Okay, so today's menu was, is a baked chicken breast with Greek yogurt uh, and uh, homemade uh, saute cabbage with onion. Let's just run through what we're going to have. We've got some chicken breasts here, we've got cheese, a little bit of flour, Greek yogurt, some mixed herbs. We've also got some, some dill, uh, some mint underneath there. Obviously some cabbage, onions, butter, and peas, and sweet corn. Okay, this is all for the dishes today. Uh, garlic and the obligatory um, stock cube there, the vegetable stock cube. Okay, I'm just gonna put these over here. Hi Louise, Louise Thornton's watching, and her mum's watching. I think I just thought, Rose, Rosemary, you went up the screen, I think. <laughs> um, uh, Barb's on the penascal too, I can't fault you, Barb. Can't okay. fault you. So the first thing then we're gonna get ready here, uh, we're gonna chop up uh, an onion. And we're going to saute off uh, uh, an onion and the chicken breasts because this is the first thing that we need to get into the oven. So into a <laughs> frying pan. I wouldn't call you that, John. No, that he says the old F is here from Clibri. No, he's not old. <laughs> um, this dish, by the way, came uh, from my mother. Uh, I want to say a quick hello, actually, to... My mum and dad, lot John and Liz Redfern. On Wednesday, guys, it was their 59th wedding anniversary. I mean, that is one hell of a milestone, isn't it? Medals uh, in the post, Liz. Yeah, medals in the post, <laughs> it is. Anyway, this is her dish. She sent, kindly sent it me to have a go at, and I'm looking forward to it, and I've not made it myself yet, so this is all gonna be new to me. Are you winging it? I'm winging it today. Oh dear. I know, right? <laughs> What could possibly go wrong? You know that we're live. Anyway, uh, okay, Hi, so... Hi, Rach. Rach is watching. Pauline rings back. Hi, Pauline. Hi, Hello. Pauline. And Ian Gibbons, our neighbour from town. Okay, so we've... Miss uh, you, Ian. Yes, we miss you, guys. Miss you, Jackie. <laughs> so we're after um, slices of onion. So we're going to go from the top to the tail. Okay, so the tail is the last. The reason we go from top to tail when you're making slices, guys, is that the core, which is the tail of an onion, keeps the rest of the onion together. 
Okay, so if you sliced it from the core to the top, it would end up falling to pieces. But if you do it the other way around, it helps keep it together. Is that another top tip? Well, I wouldn't say it's top. As you can see with some of the ingredients I'm using, okay, we're getting to the, the end of what we're using. So <laughs> it's like use up everything. Okay, when you get to the end here, we're going to use up the whole onion. Just tip it over. Okay, turn it around. This then, is what Darren was missing, wasn't it? So yeah. Darren could watch this back, couldn't he? Because yeah. he was saying he keeps doing it wrong. Okay, and we're going to save a little bit of this onion to the side because I need it for the cabbage and I haven't got that much uh, onion. So into a pan. We're running out of ingredients, guys, because we don't literally, we don't just don't go to the supermarket. We just try not to go. Well, I went, I tried to go in the week uh, twice. The queues were horrendous. And I thought, you know something, I just don't want to put myself in that type of situation. So I ended up coming home and we're using up literally the last of everything we've got. So uh, Debbie Hughes is watching. Hey now. Debbie. Mark Gibson's on. Hi Mark. Give that a quick stir. We ain't gonna... to the kids for me, Mark. I'm gonna put the top on that. Okay, we're then going to now you want one big chicken breast. Okay, we're just going to do this for two people. Obviously, if you if you want to do it uh, for more people, you can double up. So take out the fillet, which is the part in the middle. All fillets on chicken are the same. They've got here, if you can see it, a sinew down here. We want to take this out because if you leave it in, it really makes it very, very gristly. So just nick that out. If you pull it back, look, it all comes out in one. And also, this part here is what connects the chicken fillet to the bone. We want to take this out as well. Again, this is really gristly. Could you be a butcher? Have you done a butcher? I have done my butcher's butcher course, yes. Yes, it was, it was actually yes. one of the first courses I ever did when I joined the army because they had their own abattoir. Okay, cut this in half long ways. So then you've got the three pieces. We want then lots of strips. Tried to talk Ren into playing the harmonica for you today, guys. He refused. Yes, sorry. Not going to happen. Do you want to spoil your weekend at all? Not going to happen. So, we want some nice, fine strips. Okay, like this. All the way. Hi, Sue. Sue's watching from down, down Tip Valley. Oh, hi, Sue. I saw you were on the beer in the sunshine. Nice. Say hello to Darren for us. Okay, so to this we're going to put the chicken and then give it a good old stir again. And Heather JB's watching. Heather, you're from Canada, yeah? Tell us where you're from, guys. Yeah. I get, I'm, I'm not expecting a massive audience today because if the weather's good and it's Easter, I'm guessing a lot of people are going to watch this later. So remember, you've used your raw chicken, so we want to make sure that you wipe everything down. Okay. Including your hands. Oh, Paul's on. Um, Amy's uh, fiance. Congratulations, guys. Yes, congratulations. Susan Robert, your beer's all gone. Well, that's poor <laughs> planning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not very good then if the beer's all gone. It's that Darren, he's greedy. Ah, talking of beer, let's have some wine. Cheers, everyone out there. Stay safe. Stay Ooh. sane. Sane and safe. So we're just after sealing this off. And the reason we do this is twofold. Uh, one is you want to sweat the onions off, and the other is you want to seal the chicken so that it ha keeps the flavour in the chicken as opposed to it coming out in the sauce. The next thing we're going to get ready whilst that's going, okay, we are going to put the yoghurt. Okay. I've not seen this dish. This no. is new, isn't it? We've it never had dish. this. Are we having this for tea? This is tea. Oh, right. We're going to put the yogurt and the See, our eggs look a little together. bit grotty. That's because Elsie laid them. So we're going to use um, 250 uh, milliliter, grams sorry, of Greek-style yogurt, which is two of these. I've actually got three here because... Like I said, I am winging it and I haven't done it before and I wanted to have a look 
at how much two is going to produce and I might have to add some more in a minute. Okay. Hi Ter uh, Terence, um, Carl even, Carl. Carl Janice. I was wondering, Terence, I was thinking, that doesn't sound right. Okay, to this end we're going to put in two eggs. Mm. Numbers are going up, must be cloudy. Okay, we're then going to put in actually the other yoghurt as well. So, three lots of yoghurt, which is um, roughly 400 gram of uh, oh, Julia's yoghurt. Julia's on, Julia's on. Remember Julia from Cavapino? Worked in the back. Oh, Hi, Julia. Yeah. Hi, Julia. How are you? Okay. So, we're now going to put this into a container. Put that to one side. Right. Turn off your heat. So to the yogurt mix, we're going to put in some salt and pepper. You want roughly about a teaspoon of salt. A good grind of black pepper. Obviously the salt and pepper is optional if you're not a salt and pepper person. Uh, to this then, we've got some dried dill, and you want a good, good yeah. sprinkling of dill. Mm. Okay. Do I like dill? What does dill taste like? I can't remember. We don't use dill very often, do we? No. Um, we've, got, we've got here some fresh mint, but if you've got dried mint, that's fine, you can use that up. Uh, and we're going to put in to this about... <laughs> I was going to ask that, Rach. Rach says, is it so far, so good. I was going to ask that, Rach. Rach says, is he doing it right? <laughs> I have no idea. We don't know. <laughs> um, uh, Dave uh, Omadodji is on. Oh, hey, Merida, all, Mexico. all the way from Mexico. Hi, Dave. Dave. How are you? How's Patrick? Thanks very much for your stuff you're putting on, Dave. It's really nice to see uh, what you're doing. Except for yesterday, Thursday, in Dave's household, is takeout day. So they had KFCs last night. But really nice okay. to see you on. Yeah, I saw the pictures. Oh, sacrilege. There's no, no such thing like that around here. That's just something we can't have or do. Okay, so the mint goes into the mix as well. Hi, Louise. Hi, Anita. Uh, Debbie Brown's watching as well. Is that Anita from House Hairdressing? Yeah, House Hi, Hairdressing. Anita. Yeah, um, Anita's also doing a vlog as well on the House Hairdressing website. Uh, how to look after your hair when you're on lockdown and all the rest of it. Nikki Myers, who works with them as well, who's got the salon upstairs, she's also doing vlogs as well for skincare. So uh, if you want to uh, put your link uh, in the comments as well, Anita, if you want to, so people can uh, watch you, okay? Same with you, Nikki. Uh, give all this a good mix, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> Come on, camera person, Sorry. what are you doing? Sorry, it's just so, you're so handsome, I just oh, forgot yeah, to move I'm, the I'm camera. Sure. <laughs> I was listening, I was reading the comments actually. Okay, give that a mix. We're then going to put into this. Um, well, Darren Phillips is on. Uh, All the way from Dan Australia. St Dan Streets from Colorado. Colorado. We've got a right universal bunch in today. Okay, we want as well a quarter of a stock cube. Sprinkle that in. And then some garlic quickly prep up the garlic and I want to get this in the oven as quickly as possible so that it starts to cook uh, within the time that we've got again we're trying to do everything in minimal amounts of pots so it's as easy as possible for you guys to do we should have, we're doing salads next week. We should have done them today, really. Yeah. There's, it's a gorgeous day up Remember here today. Remember, with, with the uh, garlic, crush it first before you chop it. You'll find it's a lot easier to chop up. So put the blade over it, give it a bang. Oh, Ooh. Don't, do don't do that. <clears throat> okay, into the pots. Oh, I'm quite looking forward to this. Yeah, I mean. 
smells lovely. It smells really minty. So we've also got uh, some peas of sweet corn and some flour. Right, with the flour, this is going to go in the mix. We want two tablespoons of flour. I've got a bit more left here as well because I'm going to um, show you what to do with container before it goes in. A bit of parsley. Okay, give that all a good mix. So with the, you put a flour in, is that because this is this like souffle? It's, yeah, it? it's going to be like a bit of a souffle-y type of dish. Okay, give it all a good mix. Look at that. Okay, then we're going to get the dishes ready. I'm going to do one big one and a couple of individuals. Uh, you've got some butter, which I showed you earlier. What I want to do with the butter then, I just want to butter the insides of the dishes and then put a bit of flour just to seal it. And the reason to do this is it will stop it sticking too much to the side. So just take a little bit of uh, butter off and rip off a bit of the um, outside of the butter pack, put the butter in it, and then we're going to just go all the way around the outside of your dish. Okay, mm. same with the small ones, like this. Okay, and then with the flour, a little bit of flour you got left over, just put a bit in the bottom. Okay, and then move it all around, look. All at the sides. And what's that for? This will stop it sticking slightly. Okay, once you've done that, the excess needs to come out. And then if you just bang it, to get any excess off. Okay, good, good. Now then, what we're going to do now is we're going to layer this all up. So you want the chicken and the onions into the bottom. Like so. Pat all that down. And now that I've also, these are extras actually. My mother doesn't do, use these, but I'm going to, just to give it a bit of colour. So, some frozen sweet corn, sprinkle that over, over both. Mm. Oh, do you approve, Liz? Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going off menu. I can hear so her I, now, she's going, what's he doing? I know. What is he doing? I'm off menu, and <laughs> some frozen peas. Lovely, lovely. Next thing then is the cheese. Now, you've got two types of cheese on the menu. I've only got one cheese here, okay? Like I said, this is all about using up what we've got. You should have Parmesan and cheddar. I've only got cheddar, and so that's all we're gonna be putting into it. That's all I've got. So don't be shy on the cheese, guys. You want to make sure you save a little bit back to go on the top. And then to this mix then, we're going to put in the yogurt on the top. I wonder how many people are going to attempt this because sometimes when people hear the word souffle, it's sort of. Well, it's not a souffle. No, it's not, but you know, they think, ooh, I know I would. <laughs> well, it's a bit like doing the homemade burgers and the cheesecakes. Yeah, it's all new, isn't you it? know, it's some new. people think they can't do it, and hopefully, after I've shown you how to do it and how easy it is, okay, you'll have a go at it yourself.
Excellent. Okay, and over to the top of the again, you want some grated cheese. There you go. And then we're going to bo give both of those a little bit uh, mm -hmm. a sprinkle of some mixed herbs. Debbie said her burgers were the best ever. That's oh, great, that's lovely. That is. A little bit of a sprinkle of mixed herbs on the top. We're then going to get these into the oven then. How's your weather in Mexico, Dave? How's it going? Uh, what are you in now? Are you heading towards high season? Okay, clean up then. Okay, so that's all in the oven. What we're gonna do now is we're going to have get, a drink. Have a drink. Where's Andrew? I don't know where Andrew is. Andrew did the, he sent us a picture via Messenger. I don't know why I didn't put it on the group. The super cheesecake, yeah, it looks delicious. Yeah, really good. Whoop. Okay. Quick drink, cheers everybody. Mm. So, uh, to the same pot that we put the chicken in. Okay, you want a bit of olive oil. And also, one good knob of butter. Philly Redfern's watching, hi Philly. Oh. Big shout out for our Philly. She's gonna be embarrassed now, but she's doing some charity work in Bristol. Feed, um, yeah, feeding uh, all the people that aren't as well off as we are. Okay, to this then, we're going to... really desperate then. <laughs> we're going to shred some onion. Oh, Wazza's watching. Hi, Wazza. Hey, Wazza. Can't wait to meet you guys in town, Wazza. Yeah. I know this is over. Dear me. Okay, into the pot then with the onion. We're then going to shred up uh, the cabbage. This is new. This cabbage is the nicest cabbage ever. Everywhere we've ever been, people have asked Red to make this. It's so tasty. It's just so different from normal cabbage. It's feeding the 5,000, that cabbage you bought. It's done really well, this cabbage. Okay, that's plenty. And the cabbage goes in as well with the onion. So get all that in together, like so. Right, to this then, we're gonna add... Um, Andrew's watching now. Sue, Jay's watching from down, downtown. Downtown. Wow. Danny uh, kind of an oh Danny, give Lisa a big hug from me, yeah. please. Salt and pepper, about a tablespoon of both. Mixed herbs. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. Let's get the one that says mixed herbs. Mixed herbs over the top. Okay, and then we're gonna sweat that off for a minute. Like so. Okay, so everything's on the go now. So it's a question of, of cooking it out. And uh, there was a little tip that my mother told me about uh, yesterday. And she was saying that... What's, what was the herb Phil said? Is it mixed herbs? What, what did you put in the, the top of the cabbage? In, for the cabbage, Phil, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Just herb, herb de Provencal or mixed herbs. They're both the same. Okay, so a little tip then for your chives, which I use for garnish. Uh, my mother said she's not very good with a knife, and she said, why don't you give people a tip that when she does it, she uses a pair of scissors, okay? So you hold the chives in your hand, okay? And all you do is you're cutting off, okay, the ends like this. This is obviously for people who aren't very confident with a knife, but it still has this, exactly the same effect, look, okay? All at the bottom there okay so that's a little tip from my mother I'm just going to finish this off here with a 
<laughs> Thank you, Marty. Marty DeGamo, hello, Red, and your better half. You know, Marty, you know. Yeah, Marty has been a fantastic uh, advocate of ours on this channel. He's all the way from... Well, I don't. Whereabouts are you, Marty, in the States? He's told us this before. I know, I've forgotten. There's so many different countries. Yeah. People coming from. <clears throat> You hear my canary in the background, little happy chap. Okay, so there you have it. Those are on the side there. Yeah, if you've got any questions, guys, about anything that we do here, uh, please just put it in the comments underneath. Or if you are um, want to private message me, and uh, that's fine as well. I don't mind helping out at all. Cheers, everyone. Can mm. I have a little drink of that? Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to hold the camera? No, I don't. <laughs> Okay. That'll do. I can multitask. So now it's all come together. Okay, give it a mix. So you've got the butter, olive oil, garlic, and uh, parsley's in there. Herbs, mixed herbs, yes. salt and pepper. Okay, so we need to get that as hot as we possibly can. And to that, we're going to put in some white wine. And guess who's watching? Janice Denton, my oh, better is half. She? Hello, darling. Hi. Janice Hi. is my best friend. She's getting married in September. Everybody really pray it goes on. Yeah, so to this then, <coughs> you want to put about a quarter of a cup of white wine. <coughs> it's melting cough, that. Okay. Smoking. And then put the lid back on, and that's going to cook through now whilst the um, chicken is in the oven. Okay. Yeah, my friend Janice, we've been friends for how long, Janice? We've been friends for only, oh, I don't know, 49 years or something ridiculous. And she's getting married in Greece in September, guys. So let we're all hoping and praying that it goes ahead. Yes. So all I'm doing now is I'm picking out um, some little sprigs of mint just at the top here. Jamie's going to put the menus on, the ingredients on later, by the way, guys, for tomorrow's um, cocktails. Okay, so that'll be up on our page yeah. later. He's Jamie's doing a, another live this Saturday, which is tomorrow. Okay, I know definitely Sangria is going to be on there. Same time as well, 4pm 4, 4 UK and 5pm here in uh, Spain or Europe. Uh, he, he, he had lots and lots of views uh, last week. And I think they agree, it's really nice to, to see somebody who knows what they're doing with cocktails to show us how to make it. Okay, so I'm just going to get a... Mary Thompson's on. Hi, Mary. Are you on our Zoom call later, Mary? Are you part... We were in a quiz tonight, guys. We've been invited to do a quiz with our besties in the UK. So we're doing a quiz on a Zoom call tonight. So that should be good fun. Yes, it will be. So I'm just getting a little bit of garnish ready here. And I'm praying that uh, everything's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still watching, Liz? Yeah. <laughs> it's under pressure. I, I'm not under pressure. The, Ian Dias is watching. Oh, is it Ian from Clibbury? Hi, Ian. How are you? Ian, was, uh, Ian Dias is a, an old army buddy of mine from way, way, way back when. And do you remember the uh, poppies they did at Windsor Castle when they had the waterfall all going down the side of Windsor Castle and everything? He was one of the helpers uh, over there. So uh, fair play to you, mate, for stepping up to the mark and doing that. It was a great honour for Ian you. Ian Gibbons is on the cocktails today. Hopefully you'll watch tomorrow, Ian, and you can practice them for when we eventually get to visit. Seriously. So as you can see, uh, this is all bubbling away. So in here you've had onions, uh, cabbage, you can use any cabbage, this is a white uh, cabbage, but any cabbage will do. A good knob of butter, white wine, a little bit of olive oil, okay, salt, pepper and mixed herbs and a little bit of garlic. So you're almost steaming that, aren't so you? So we, what we're doing, we want that to steam through and we want it to break down so uh, it, it's not as crispy and that's not, uh, that's coming along nicely that is. So we'll put the lid back on that. No, Danny, I saw that. No, there'd be none of that. No nakedness on Zoom, you're all right. <laughs> we'll pass. Nobody would invite us back. How are we getting on? Uh, yeah, things are happening. Are they? Yeah, not as fast as I want them to happen, like, but never mind. Can't have everything. So we're just waiting uh, for that to 
Good, on. and what I've done here is, uh, I'm just gonna set up a plate to show you. Like I said, I've done one larger one for two people if you're gonna do it in a casserole dish, and I've put two into smaller containers, uh, like bowls, if you're gonna do it for a dinner party. Uh, we've got the plate ready there. Uh, just get a little bit of... Um, so how, would, how long would that normally take to cook then, this in the oven? Around about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the heat <clears throat> of your oven. So you're under a little bit of pressure well, there, aren't you, to make that I've, work in the time given? I've, I've got the time. The problem I've got at the moment now is we've only been going about 25 minutes. So I'm at the end of what I needed to do and to make. And actually, I might... Could you see. go through next week's menus? Yeah, next week's, week's menus is already up. Um, on Monday, we're doing uh, my younger sister's uh, lovely... and it is amazing, guys. You should really try this one. The bread and chocolate bread and butter pudding with a super easy caramel sauce on the side. Uh, Wednesday, weather permitting, we're going to do two salads. One is one of my own creations, which is a, a warm uh, avocado and uh, vinaigrette salad. Uh, I made this up yonks and yonks ago and I've used it in various locations where I've worked. Uh, and a classic Waldorf salad. Uh, all the ingredients uh, are in the announcement section of uh, the Facebook. And then on Friday, we're having a fish day on Friday. Okay, which is gonna, we're using a piece of tuna, but you can use any fish, it doesn't really matter. Uh, with a lovely mango glaze crust on the top of it. Bit of balsamic vinegar on the side. Uh, I might do um, a potato or rice dish on the side as well, if I can uh, get time for that. So, let's have a look at the cabbage. Susie Wallace, hi Susie. Uh, Claire Vance is watching. Peter Miles is in the house, hello cuz. Uh, Claire Vance, yes, you missed us. Where are you? You're late on parade. What's going on? Okay, let's leave that. You to like side. this cabbage, Claire, so you can watch the video back. Okay, I'm just going to leave that on the side to tick over. Uh, anybody got any questions? Whilst I've got five minutes then before stuff. Uh, I think some things have gone up the screen. Sorry, I miss it because I'm. Yeah, if, if if I haven't answered your questions, just write it down again. Uh, and I'll see if I can answer it live at the moment. Cheers, everyone. Very Peter nice. Miles. You're going to come and visit us, Peter, when we're open. I'm counting on you guys. I'm counting on every man and his wife to turn up, actually. It would yeah. be so nice. It's such a shame because Hidden Valley looks amazing. And for those of you that don't know, we run a glamping site in Andalusia. Um, seven tents. And we've got a beautiful terrace overlooking the Guadalajara Valley and Red Cooks, obviously. Yeah, this is what um, we wanted to do on Wednesday. We, can, we want to be al fresco outside doing the salad so we can show you a little bit of what we've got here. Yeah. Just to give and you And we've an been idea. gardening, like yes. proper gardening. I've been, I've got a saw back actually. We've been <laughs> really good doing, trying to um, spruce the place up a bit, ready for when we can reopen. I don't really know when that will be. I mean, how long's a piece of string, right? We are all governed. As you can see, it's starting to get, uh, the liquid is starting to come out of it now. This is what we're after. We're after the liquid to evaporate. So you've just got your cabbage left at the end of it. So that's nearly, nearly ready. Um, Philly, uh, Julia Haywood. Hi, Julia. Uh, Philly, Philly wants to know, Seb wants some pointers on presentation for plating up food. Okay, that's a good, that's a good idea. I mean, like I showed you the other day, uh, there's a few things you can use. Uh, uh, oh, pill pill, you're right. Wazza, you're right. We were going to do the pill pill with the salads outside. Is that what we were going to do? Yeah, I can do that. If I don't do it on the, if I don't do it on Wednesday, Waz, I'll definitely do it with the fish. That's on a Friday. good idea. I was going to suggest that. Okay, then. So let's let's show you. Remember, I showed you how to make the balsamic vinegar glaze. Okay, mine's in a uh, little plastic bottle with a nozzle. You can buy these anyway now. Okay, let me show you a couple of things that you can use as far as decoration is concerned. To it's 20 place. degrees today and nice, nice weather today. Okay, the easiest one to do then is the squiggle. And you always start off, okay, away from where you want to finish. I'm trying not to get on my shadow. I'm trying okay. to get me on. That's it, that's it. Okay, Good. so you start away from... So if your plate was here, you start away from where you want to finish and you want to be going to its larger, okay, for those... If you want to do spots, okay, you put little spots down and then you can do a flick away like so. 
Okay, you can do the same variation of this. And this is all with the balsamic glaze you yeah, made, didn't you? Yeah, you can go like this, okay, across like there, this. if you wanted to do that sort. Uh, you can do uh, swirls, Oh, he says. You also put things in different dishes on plates, don't you? So you separate food on plates, don't you, sometimes? I, I separate food on, on uh, plates. Um, the reason that is, is, is because each individual dish that you have on the plate needs to be individual to what you're doing. If you make it all in together, then you'll lose the eye uh, specific contact of the food on a plate, okay? Because when you're looking at it, it is a, it's a bit like an artist, I suppose, at the end of the day. You can cook the nicest food you've ever made and it'll taste fantastic, but if you don't present it well, it'll just look like a mush. Okay, and people eat with their eyes. If they look at it and it looks fantastic, their brain automatically thinks it's gonna taste fantastic. Okay, so a lot of it is in the presentation. So there's just a couple of ideas on those. Remember I showed you as well. I think you like balsamic vinegar as well, Philippa, so. Uh, I showed you yesterday as well. Uh, you can use the uh, knife and fork or just the fork so you can use a fork mm. Kerry Hughes straight. sent her rice last night and she did one of these on her plate we were very impressed yes and if you wanted to you can have a, a, a knife on the side as well okay oh, that looks good it's just really easy things like this that you can use on a plate okay to sort of spruce it up just for all your dinner guests Phil <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we are ready on this. As you can see, all the juice has gone out of the bottom. Okay, we're down to the oil. Okay, so that means that all the wine is now. Mm, it smells lovely, that. It is, it's beautiful. It smells really, it smells really tasty, it smells fresh. Remember, always taste what you've cooked at the, at the end of it. Natalie's watching. Hi, Natalie. Say hello to your mum for me, Natalie. Okay, so that's ready, so we'll leave that there. Emily, Jane Miles is watching. Oh, I've got her right. Family Maya. affair going on today again. Let's see how we're getting on here. Okay, we're just about ready then, I think. Let me just move that wine, it's making me nervous. We're just going to give that a minute. Is it rising? Yes, it's, we've got a little rise on it. Obviously, when you guys do it, you're gonna leave it in for the full 40 to 45 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna take mine out in about a minute, so it's only been in about 35. We have got a rise on it, which is very nice, which is good. And that comes from the egg, right? Because you're almost whisking in like a... Correct. Yeah, like air, isn't it, yeah. I suppose? Okay, so what we're gonna do here then, we're just going to uh, start traying up. I'm going to put uh, a couple of little bits on here. Like so. And to this then, I'm going to put the cabbage into here. quite good for you that isn't it really yeah I mean, it's not I mean it's well, well it's, got it's, got butter, it's got butter in it now the reason we put butter in is if you can have a look look at the shine over the top of the cabbage there that's why you put the butter in because it gives it a lovely looking glaze mm, looks great that guys it looks and smells as good as it looks let me tell you Now be careful when these come out because they are very, very hot. So to this then we're going to put uh, a little sprig of uh, mint. How does that look Liz? 
yeah. onto the side. A quick sprinkle, okay, of the chopped uh, chives over the top. We'll do the same again on this side with here. I'm just going to pop these down the middle like this. I love the red and green for colour. Yeah, this is like I said. You know, it's all about presentation. You don't have to do much at the end of the day. Sometimes being really simple has just about, just as much effect on everything else. See, as you can see, it's got a little bit of a rise. Yours will rise slightly more. So, so if you left it in the oven, it would rise. Would... It, would, it would come up a little bit more. Yeah. Mm. So let's have a look at it then. Okay, as you can see, it's set slightly, look. Wow, look at that. That is fantastic. That is a super dish. You'll be really, really pleased with this. Anyway, there you go, guys. Baked chicken with Greek yogurt. Okay, and a side of saute cabbage with white wine. Anyway, that's it for me today. If you're watching this on YouTube, underneath this video, you've got a thumbs up, which is your like. Click that, please, if you would do, and then subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow what we're doing. We are here for you to give you ideas. If you need any help with any dishes, just reach out to myself uh, via this or for the um, messenger and I'll get back to you. Anyway, uh, that's it for us. Tomorrow, Jamie is on at four with his cocktails. We'll be back with you on Monday for the lovely, can't wait to do it, chocolate bread and butter pudding with caramel sauce. Anyway, that's it for me now. Can I just ask, yes. Barb Adams said, can, she can do that with turkey breast, right? Yeah, you can do that with turkey breast, not a problem at all. Easy, you can do that with turkey breast. Happy so. Easter, everyone. Anyway, bye for weekend. now. Thank you very much, then. Bye. See you soon. I'm going to now go and open my penis skull. Bye. Bye.